Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is part two of the gear swap for the uh, the truck. Uh, we're going from 342s to 430s. If you haven't seen the first part, go ahead and check it out on the last video. Um, what we're doing today is we're getting the new parts or the new uh, actual bearings that we needed to pick up from Summit Racing to actually get this install for the rear end taken care of so we can get the truck completely done. So those parts arrived today, uh, probably around 1045-ish this morning. So they're here and we're gonna run those up to James real quick and they're gonna get those um, taken care of. Here's the back end. Got her all jacked up in the air. It's weird seeing her all tore down like this. But front ends apart. Got the old steering all tore up. Got some knee joints. <clears throat> that other one's right here. Okay, there it is. Not that one. crazy to see it all like this man which one the new one yeah. oh is it right there yeah. you guys can see right here here's my front diff my rear diff and then here's the new rear gear just look at the there's the 430 pinion for the rear if you look at this one this is the 342 look how huge that thing is Jesus Christ oh yeah a little sneaky peek whoop no, go ahead, man. Do your a dually uh, could have a uh, a higher gear ratio, but it's also a different differential. Yeah, but I know the duallys also go up to a four ten. Like I said, that's right? what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of weird. So as you guys see, they show up. There is the correct part number. So let's see what these bearings look like. Well, that's not good, but. They're all right there, so I'll take it. But man, yeah, okay. There's the bearings. Looks like somebody had the wrong kit on theirs and returned this one, so. All right. Get her taken to the shop. Looks pretty good. You guys can see the markings are in. Everything's secure. All the old stuff. I'm excited. Here's the box for the old, uh, the set that the new ones came in, but we got our old gears put back in there. As you guys can see the old part number. And then also our um, AMSOIL showed up. So I'm not putting this until we're done with the break-in period. Then we're gonna go ahead and throw this in. So with all this AMSOIL up here, you guys think I was like a dealer or something, but just got away from oil change. Probably here to do it probably within the next 2000 miles since it hasn't been done since the second gen swap. And that was in July at 29,000 miles. So. We're at 30, almost 34,000 miles now. So just got back to the house. I uh, just got done from doing a little workout. Now I'm back and then uh, what I did was I got the uh, old gears packaged up, got those ready to go out, um, take the UPS so I can just drop those off and send those back. And I got an update from James uh, that everything is looking pretty good. They're about to run the markings on the rear diff. Uh, I do want to clarify something real quick. I misspoke last last video and I said the uh, the actual carrier bearings were bad. Uh, the carrier bearings weren't bad. It was actually the, the pinion bearings that were messed up or they were too small. So that's the new kit that came with the correct uh, pinion bearings. So everything should be good on that, that aspect. Like I said, I think it's already installed right now at this point. I'm just waiting on um, some more pictures from him and then I'm gonna show you guys as well. So just wanted to keep you guys, give you guys an update on that.
Look at there she is, all put back together. Excited to try her out, so let's take a look at that new diff cover. Yeah, baby, she looks pretty sweet. I think everything went together fairly easy, no issues. So they test drove it, no whining. And So she's all put back together. Here's the front diff cover. I was gonna do some mag high techs, but just decided to go with the stock diff cover for now. We got some new U-joints. It's kind of hard to see. Those are installed. Front end's all put back together. Another U-joint over there. She's all nice and bright and shiny. Kind of cool getting your getting an underside view like this. So that's put back together. One thing I did want to show you guys right here is the bushings over here are getting worn out. So it's kind of hard to see. Got to call BDS and uh, get some new bushings. I'm having some play there. Think about taking that freaking resonator back out and going a straight pipe again. And man, there she is. Kind of hard to see it. But got your fluid level right there. Takes the same amount as factory. So nice hardware it came with. And one thing a lot of people think about is the spacers here behind the sway bar. It's about a one inch spacer. Those were there when I got the truck. But it helps clear like the mag high techs and the, what I had was a, uh, a G2 diff cover. So those are nice to have. I'm not sure if it would clear the Banks diff cover without it. We'll take a look. So, I mean, you guys make your own judgment. There's the side there side there it's probably a good inch I guess but it'd be close So we're leaving four wheel parts now. It's a little after hours, but I came here and, to pick up the truck um, with James since he runs the joint. But uh, no real first impressions yet. Uh, like I said, the truck's probably got like ten, like five miles on it since the gears. But we're gonna uh, the transmission's got to relearn itself, and uh, we'll give you guys another or a better explanation later on down the line. I'm gonna do a before and after video of gears, the driving and the shifting and everything, once I can get past that break-in period, which is 500 miles. So for the next couple days, I'll be driving the truck, um, you know, to warm it up, let it cool down, and we'll go from there. So truck's driving pretty good. We're doing about 30 miles an hour through a small downtown area. Uh, I don't hear any whining. It's kind of hard to hear it over like the turbo and everything, but, she sounds good. I don't hear any, I don't feel any binding, don't feel anything crazy. So uh, I need four wheel parts to be able to hook it up. James and those guys are phenomenal. Kyle, definitely shout out to him. He's the guy who did the install and, uh, you know, dialed this truck in. So definitely recommend those guys. If you're in the Oklahoma city area and you guys need some good work done, you know, let James know. Um, and he'll definitely get you guys taken care of, man. It's only been like four miles, but you can tell the, the transmission is definitely a lot happier and she's shifting 
a little different as I'm used as what I'm used to. There's not a lot of shift flare and there's not a lot of downshifting and upshifting. So pretty excited about that. I know gears isn't really like a glamorous mod and you know it's not like doing a second jet swap or anything, but it's definitely a necessity if you're lifted, you know, and you got bigger tires. So especially on these uh Dodge Rams that come with 342s from the factory and you're on a 31 inch stock tire and then you lift it and then you bump up to 37s that's a huge different differential you know it's a lot happening um a lot of difference in that differential you know that's going to be happening with that uh, big of a tire so we're going to give it a few miles we're going to let the transmission relearn itself with the uh, new gears and uh she should be good to go so i'm going to keep you guys updated i'll uh i'll be shooting a video when i change the diff fluid so keeping you guys in a loop how everything looks what the diff fluid you know how bad it is and if it's even bad at all but uh should be good to go when the diff fluid came out of this thing when they changed uh when they drained them it was pretty much clear like you know like i said the truck only has like thirty-three thousand miles on it and uh, i know he used amsoil in the back of the uh, diff not in the front the front was i think just stock but that was like crystal clear so it hasn't been used more than you know a couple times myself you know i've only put it in four wheel drive like twice so but yeah, should be a should be a fun and exciting video coming up. You know, at the 500 mile mark, we got to change the diff fluid and refill them up with the Amsoil products. She's home. Truck made it home. Uh, the only hiccups we ran into were the the uh, pinion bearings, which we got that taken care of in a matter of a few hours. Um, but yeah, she's home. She drove good. Can't complain. Got that sweet ass. Uh, Banks diff cover on there, man. That thing is massive. If you guys never seen one in person, go check it out. The thing is huge. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. This will be the last part of the gear swap video. Um, I'm gonna do one more video when it comes to the before of 342s and then what it feels like after um, into the 430s after the break in period. So I'm gonna let the transmission relearn itself. I'm gonna give it 500 miles and we're gonna change the diff fluid and then I'll get that video to you guys as well. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for your patience. Uh, once again, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, leave your comments down below uh, of how you guys think this, this turned out. Can't wait to tell you guys the actual full benefits of swapping the 430 gears um, once they get worn in and once the transmission gets to relearn itself. So once again, appreciate you guys watching. Until then, see you guys on the next upload. Thanks.